that's where the shooting in Las Vegas, this done by Stephen uh, Paddock 64. Now, uh, I want to point out something. Uh, some of you may have already noticed. Now, whenever they have a mass shooting like this, the media is the first thing to, the liberal media is the first thing that they will want to jump on. Uh, it was done by a conservative. Okay, now, uh, what I may say may be a shock to some people, but uh, now, as for country music, the uh, vast majority of the people that do like country music, go to the concerts, are conservative in nature. Yes, there are Democrats that like country music. That's absolutely normal. But majority of them will identify themselves as a conservative or a Republican. Now, since uh, the liberal media has not yet brought it out that he is a conservative, believe me, they, they're, they're salivating at the mouth, grueling, hoping and praying that he is a Republican. But all the information right now seems to uh, point out to the fact that he is a card-carrying Democratic Hillary supporter who wanted to kill as many Republicans as possible. Now, I know there will be a lot of Democrats to quickly jump on the uh, gun control bandwagon. But the, the only thing that stops a bad person, an evil person that has a weapon, is a good person who has a weapon. And everybody should be allowed to defend themselves and the ones they love. But getting back to the Democrat, or as some people call them, Democrat people, now, you look at the vast majority of the people in jails and prisons here in the United States, uh, over 90% of them would identify themselves as a Democrat. Now, you, uh, that may be a shock to a lot of people, but uh, it's true. Now, you look at the ages and uh, the race of the people in prison for violent crimes for other things, and uh, you even go into a prison, most of the people would identify themselves as a Democrat. Now, uh, take the liberal Democrat-controlled city of Chicago, for example, okay? Everybody, most of everybody in Chicago identifies themselves as Democrats, and yet they have one of the highest murder rates in the world. That's Democrats killing Democrats. Anybody else they could get their hands on. Now, you go into a uh, Democratic-controlled state. Let's say California. vast majority of the people in prison are Democrats. And I know just by pointing it out, I'm going to be pointed out, uh, be called a racist and, and all sorts of terrible language and uh, the facts speak for themselves. Uh, as for the Prussian population or the Democratic Republican, the facts speak for themselves. Ninety percent, over ninety percent of them are Democrats. And uh, I know the media, oh, especially CNN and all the other liberal media, are so hoping and wishing, and even. Some are praying that this guy is a Republican. Uh, if you notice, they haven't brought that out yet because they already know this guy was not a Republican. And in fact, he was a Democrat, a Hillary supporter who wanted to take out as many Republicans as he could get his hands on. Now, uh, yes. You will see. There are right now. There are some liberals who are saying, uh, "Oh, we got to have better gun control." This and that and other uh, laws. If a person wants to break a law, there's nothing to stop them from breaking a law. Now, you take uh, Chicago again, for example. 
they have some of the strictest gun laws there is. And yet criminals, bad people, evil people are still able to get guns. Now, it doesn't matter if an evil person can't get a gun. If they wanted to kill you, there's many different ways to kill you. Walk up to you, look you in the eye, and stick a big old knife through your gut. When evil people are determined to commit evil, violent crime, the only thing that can stop them is a good person who is also armed and able to defend themselves or to defend others. Y'all have a nice day.